Hey folks, uh, welcome to RA Outdoors again. If you can see here in my table, I have a plain jig here. And we have the little spots painting like this, like the one I have my hand here. I have a request for my friend in, in Facebook and YouTube. He wants to know how I paint those little jig heads with the uh, small spots there. If you can see, you can do this with different colors. There's the one I have here with blue and orange. I have here an orange and a little bit yellow color, the black and red, and the pink and the green and the blue, like the ones I have here. So I want to show you guys how to do it simple. The do it and um, comes really good and it's really simple. If you can see in my table here, I have purple. I have blue, I have a lemon color, and I have green, green like a chartreuse color. So let's go start, guys. I want to show you how to do it step by step. So I want to put this away here first, and I want to put this away too, the ones I already did a couple, a couple weeks ago. And what I have here is just the plain colors here. If you can see in my table, I have white, I have orange, I have black. And I have green, like a chartreuse color. And it's really simple to do it. And I want to do a step by a step. So first of all, you need to make those spots like that, like the one I have here in my hand. Okay, first of all, you need it's a uh, three different ways to go. Okay, first of all, I do this with the two picks. If you can see here, you can see the paint in this here already that I've been doing this for a while, or you can see this a different size, and every single toothpick is a different size, okay? If you can see that in camera there, this is a little bit thick, and this is a little bit, uh, a little bigger, and this is really a small, so you depend how you want it. Me personal, I like this three size here, I'm not pretty sure what kind of size is this, but I just wanna show you really quick, and, Catches a lot of crappies and I think it looks fine. Crappy loves those colors, so I have a request. So I want to do that for you guys. So let's go start first with this small one here. Okay, let's go start with this small one here. Okay, so I want to put this in the side. Let's go do first uh, the flat head. The flat head, but uh, let's say with, uh, I'm going to put this away. Let's say this. I want to do this with green, okay? Now, when you do this, you don't want to mess up your table, the good table. So what do you do? You find a piece of paper just like this, okay? Just put a piece of paper here in the bottom and just grab the paint. Before you do that, you want to shake that really good. So put just a drop into the paper, okay? Just put a little drop there into the paper. Okay, close this up, put it away, grab your toothpick, and grab this, and just go really easy. Dip it into the paint, and just go really easy. You can see there. Okay, now you can see that, and you can just keep going around, around the flathead. Okay. And I know I've been using this for a while and it really works and gives a different uh, color into the jig. You can see that really clear in the camera there. And then just twist another side, put another side and do the same thing. Now, if you want to do it, you can do this with different colors. I want to show you how to do it different colors. It's really easy, guys. It's not a, such a uh, hard to do it. You can see this is ready. You can put this away. I put it away here in my other side of my table. Now you want to do is, I want to do a different size for you guys. Okay, so you guys can see much better. So I want to chain this. Now when you put this away, make sure you use a uh, paper towel and take the paint off and put it away. I want to do this, uh, pick a fat color here, I mean pick fat profile here, and wanna grab another uh, 
another orange color let's do an orange color here the same flat head here okay now i want to use the purple let's say yeah let's go use the purple so you want to shake it again shake it really good okay and then yes drop another um drop another drop into the piece, uh, piece of paper that you have here okay just like that you want to do the purple a light purple so you have a flag here remember this is a little bit thick you just want to do is just dip into the paint and there you go you have one spot there purple and then again paint it okay now you want to grab the small one the one that just used that and do small spots around the head okay just like that and then go around it's really easy guys it keeps it that jigs a little bit different color especially when you're fishing and uh especially when you're fishing in dirty water it works fantastic with different colors different spots in there and then it's really easy to do it uh, i have a request for my friend in facebook and i think in, in have a request to my youtube channel there you go it's really easy look at this i think i missed one spot here okay now i want to use a white color put it away here i want to use a, bl uh, a white color here let's go use a texas mino mino head here so let's go let's put some uh, different colors here let's put a green lime and let's put some purple and let's put some green here shake that really good just open this okay you can paint that in so many different colors that you don't have no idea the fish you will catch a lot of fish this is a texas minnow head here and i want to use the small one so you want to do is put a purple okay and then just put a green okay and then put another lima green there okay and then again put a purple like that and then put a green again and then put a, a lima green there okay if you can see you have a different colors you can do any color you choose to do it as long as you do you have those colors so let's do purple again here in this side okay and then do green there you go and then with the lima green here and then purple again just like that and then green again okay and purple again put a switch in this side okay and then green again look at this so what you have here is a purple green and lemon color there if you turn around that side you have the same thing you see the colors there so you can choose whatever color you decide to do it let's do a blue color here i like blue i think when people fish in blue i see a lot of people don't use a lot of blue so i like to fish with a lot of blue colors there so let's go do blue okay really simple and yes keep going it's really quick too and you let it dry and you just finish with a clear coat and you you're done look at this you see that it's a really cool design okay i know fish don't care but just give you guys a tip okay you can paint with black you can play with orange green pink hot green lemon green you name it look at this so beautiful colors there you can match any colors if you want to yeah it helps you a lot 
like the ones I have here with the round heads and uh, I've been catching fish for a while with these little jig heads here look at this you can paint that with any color you design with any color you want look the yes, stone look the Texas Mino head here the, the black look at all those colors here look at this uh, black and, um, and, and red the black and white the green with orange I like this really much white and blue the orange and yellow black and red blue and orange pink and black green and pink all those colors okay I hope it helps you in the future uh, don't forget to make it comments don't forget to subscribe my channel I want to say thank you for all my new subscribers don't forget to thumbs up remember if you make more thumbs up for more videos coming up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet thank you so much for the support don't forget to thumbs up for more video and thank you so much for watching and see you the next